Hair doesn't just vary in color. It can be straight, wavy, curly, or anywhere in between. But why? What causes some people to have straight hair and others to have curly? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. It turns out that whether you have super straight hair or a bunch of tight curls, you can thank your genes. But how exactly? Experts are still trying to determine exactly how our genes work to make our hair look a certain way. But studies have shown that your DNA is definitely a huge factor. Let's start with the basics. Every hair on your body grows out of its own hair follicle, which are tiny little organs just below the surface of your skin. Cells inside the follicle divide and multiply, slowly pushing upwards and hardening along the way. By the time the hardening cells get long enough to poke out of your skin, they've hardened into a hair. How curly a single strand of human hair gets depends on the hair follicle it's growing out of. If a follicle isn't quite symmetrical, it produces a strand of hair in a slightly oval shape, which tends to naturally curl the longer it gets. If a follicle is symmetrical, the hair it makes will come out round and stay straight no matter how long it gets. And the shape of your hair follicles, it turns out, are determined by the genes you inherit from your parents. Usually, Curly hair is a bit more dry than straight hair because oils from your scalp have an easier time traveling down a straight strand of hair. But this also means that straight and wavy hair have a tendency to get a lot greasier than curly hair because of all that oil. So no matter what kind of hair you have, straight and oily or curly and dry, you only have your family to thank for it. 